to overtake the cyclist, check the mirrors early and then check interior and door mirror before moving out, leaving plenty of room and check interior and near side mirror before moving back to the left. When we're waiting at the traffic lights, we're going to keep the position out to the right slightly to allow for the cyclist to move up on our near side. So while waiting, keep a watch on our mirrors to see what's happening either to the left and the right of the car. When the lights change again, check all around the car to make sure it's safe and move off when it's safe to do so. Now because of the oncoming traffic, the parked vehicles, I'm going to hold back behind the cyclist until it's safe to overtake. Keep looking well ahead for an opportunity to actually overtake the cyclist. When an opportunity arises, check our interior and offside door mirror. Give a signal if necessary and move past the cyclist allowing plenty of room. Check interior and near side mirror before moving back to the left. Looking well ahead there's a horse and rider. So we're going to check our mirrors, ease off the accelerator so we don't approach too quick. We need to make sure it's safe to go past the horse allowing plenty of room. So just maintain our speed until we're sure it's safe. Then check interior and offside door mirror and move past the horse allowing plenty of room and not accelerating as we go past. Check interior and left mirror before we move back to the left again allowing plenty of room. And make sure we're well past the horse before we start building up our speed. Now there's a jogger on a right hand bend so we can't actually see around the bend at the moment so we need to maintain our speed with the jogger until we're sure it's safe to overtake. So keep looking well ahead, as soon as there's an opportunity check our mirrors and the door mirrors, move out land, plenty of room, and interior mirror and left mirror before moving back to the left. 